Hi there, Steve here with our How video on customizing Zoho's CRM so it shows users what they need to see and shows it nicely. We're going to show you how mere mortals like you and I without PhDs in computer science can turn a screen full of irrelevant and distracting information, a screen like this, and turn it into a screen like this that shows users just what they need to see. In our scenario, Sharon needs to see contacts and transactions, but she doesn't give two hoots about the other information. The tool that makes screens like this possible and easy is called Canvas. It's a standard part of Zoho CRM. There are two steps to using Canvas. Create a screen, then assign it to users like Sharon who'll find it useful. To create a new screen, you go to Setup, which is the cog icon, then Canvas under Customization. In this demo, we're going to create a new screen that shows the details of an account. This time around, we'll create a blank template, although in real life, make it easy for yourself. Only do a blank template once and then base all your new views on something you created earlier. Let's add a header section to hold the basic company information. We can tweak it to make it match your brand colors, the wallpaper in your office, or even the color of your eyes. Isn't that nice? You can select the colors visually or using precise color codes. Now the fun part. Let's add some data fields to the header section. You just drag them from the selection box onto the canvas. You don't need to worry about exact positioning when you place them because you can align them later as a group. While they're all selected, you can drop the field labels from them too. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Then you can widen them too, so all the data in the fields is shown. And let's make some of the fields stand out. The process is the same when we add the address fields. Now let's add some action buttons so users can edit or delete a record and scroll to other records. Once they're on the canvas, you can align them and set their normal and hover states. And here's a really wonderful bit, folks. You can copy that button style to other buttons. You don't have to create it all over again from scratch. Then you could tidy everything up by making all of the buttons the same size and adjusting the header section to an appropriate size as well. Now let's move on to the details that Sharon needs to see. She absolutely does not want to see every field of information we hold about the account. Her job's transactional. She wants to see contacts plus quotes, sales orders, invoices and support calls. To do that, we will add a tab view to the canvas. Then we just click on the plus button to add a tab for contacts. The process is as simple as that. We then repeat that process for the other pieces of information we want. For instance, deals, then quotes, sales orders, invoices and cases. We can tidy things up a bit by deleting that unnamed tab. And it's that easy. Now let's tweak the tab section to make it look nice and highlight critical information Sharon needs to see. Let's start off by making the area a little bit larger so it can show more information. And let's assume Sharon needs to know where these records come from. So we'll add the data source field. 
It would also be a great idea to use the card layout so that you can see more than one contact at the same time. And now let's add some formatting to these cards so the fields are nicely aligned, there's a decent colour and there's a border around them that separates one card from another. You'll notice that as soon as you make the changes to one card, it's applied to all the others. You don't have to do it over and over again. We're going to leave the Deals tab as it is in list format, but add a bit of colour. The first thing we're going to do for the Quotes tab is move it, because somebody <clears throat> put it in the wrong place earlier. Then we're going to adopt the card style we used for contacts. And we're going to assume Sharon needs to keep an eye on older quotes. So we'll add the Created Time field, then reorganise the fields in the same way as we did for earlier tabs. Now we're going to use something really cool called Conditional Styling. We want Sharon to notice older quotations. So we create a rule that says, OK, if a quotation is more than 30 days old, it needs to identify it. And then we apply that rule to the field and say, when that is true, make our field bold and make our field orange. You can add more than one level of conditional styling to a field. So if we want Sharon to be aware of quotations that are more than 90 days old, we can add a second rule to that field and say that in that instance, make them red. Now let's make similar changes to the sales orders, invoices and cases tabs at high speed. Now let's make those tabs look a little bit smarter. And here's a function that'll make your life a whole lot easier, presets. They're available for fields, but we're going to apply them here to tabs. You just select a style that suits your business. Finally, we'll add the icons to the tabs. One last little flourish that adds a bit of sophistication to the whole screen. So that's how we can make views suit the people who are going to use them. You can make them work with your business like fish works with chips. Now I do have to admit that I am to graphic design what Mickey Mouse is to quantum physics. So if you think these screens still look a little bit unspectacular, remember to blame me, not Canvas. The point of this video is to show you Canvas's potential and simplicity, not my design skills. The final step. How do you make sure certain users see the right information through the right view? With Canvas Assignment, you say users of a certain profile use a certain view. It's as simple as that. So I may continue to see this screen because I'm one type of user, but Sharon will see this screen because she's another, and it's all automatic. I hope that's given you a good idea of Canvas in practice. Let me leave you with one final thought. How many CRM systems say they're customizable? <laughs> Probably all of them, and big deal. All CRMs are customizable. Even Salesforce is customizable. But the point is, how easy are they to customize? Do you need special skills? How long will it take? How much will it cost? And now you know, with Zoho CRM, it's easy, quick, and it doesn't cost anything. Thank you for watching.